guess is that you are all here because you just sit around twiddling your thumbs, wondering what to fill your days with. Yeah, I wouldn't normally start a presentation with a quote, but I think this one's just too good to miss out. Uh, have a little look at this. How many people feel like that? Yeah, absolutely. Is anybody here right now who's got too much time? I once asked that in a prison. Can you believe it? <laughs> I was in the middle of a presentation. I'm completely in flow. Anybody got too much time? They were like, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, we're all here because we're looking for time, and I think we're also looking for money, time and money. People, businesses these days, very much uh, the equation between time and money is very, very strong. Be more efficient, more effective, get more done, uh, work on the right things, become more profitable as an organization. So we want to challenge you today with some thinking. And I want to start by telling you a little story about when I was a kid. And we used to have this kind of, you would perhaps call it an occasion, once a month, usually the last Friday of the month, when my father would come home from work and he would make this announcement. And the announcement basically went like this. Tonight, we're having Chinese. <laughs> and my brother and I, aged about seven and nine, used to be so excited, we'd be kind of going, ah, yeah, Chinese, Chinese, yay! And my mum would be like, oh, I'll prepare. All right. And um, it wasn't chopsticks or anything. She used to just kind of put some kind of Chinesey type music on that she had on an old record. And, um, and then my dad would announce that he would go and pick up the Chinese. And off he'd go in his van, and then he would come back with the carrier bag. And here's the thing. Up until the age of 12, I swear that I believed Chinese food consisted of chicken fried rice, and sweet and sour chicken with chips. That was it. Because that's all I knew. My frame of reference at that time was that that is Chinese food. And my dad would come in and he would place these three cartons in the middle of the table and we'd sit there with our little plates and our forks. And then my dad would go and peel the top off. And then about 12 years old, something happened which I will always remember. He peeled the top from what he thought was going to be the chicken fried rice. And instead, there was something that looked a bit like this. Noodles. He'd never seen anything like this before. Neither had my mum and my brother and I definitely hadn't. And all four of us just stood and looked at this carton. And I remember that the, what my dad said, he went, what is it? And my mum said, I think it looks like noodles. He says, well, I didn't order that. My mum says, I know. I think they've made a mistake. She says, should I go back? My mum says, I think you should. And I says, why don't we just try it? And then this is when dads become real dads. He goes, no, son, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and he got his fork and he picked up this noodle. And the, the anticipation was incredible. And then put it in his mouth. God, it's delicious. <laughs> and then we all had it. And at that point there, we had discovered another type of Chinese food. But the story doesn't end there. Because my dad wanted to order that the following week. And he had no idea what it was or what it was called. So he would describe to the people at the, uh, our local Chinese takeaway exactly what he'd had that particular time. And for six months, we got six different noodle-based dishes before we hit on the one, but we discovered six new things and we liked about four of them. And I just wonder if that's the reason why we have so many challenges with our time. Because we're still ordering number 37. We still do things in the same old way because that's how we've always done things. And in order to find a new way, perhaps we have to taste some things that we love and taste some things that maybe we don't like so much. So my challenge this afternoon, if you think, well, what am I going to learn? What am I going to cover today? Is to give you tools and techniques and ideas and strategies. And I'm going to give you seven strategies. Seven strategies to find time. 